down. Guys. <laughs> what does Amber say? Is it, what's the word? <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the 33 months. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, the longest day of our lives. Oh. We have Flashbang! Um, we have this stream today. You wait here. I need to cover up the marmosets. Hold on. Can you hear me still? Hello, boys! I'm in it all night. No sleep. And a feel. All night. No sleep. Okay. Settings. Flip is changing auto settings. You need to put it down? Nope, got it. Okay. Wicked? Um, so the plan for to look, I got bagels. Um, the plan for today is uh, enrichment for everybody one at a time, folks. One at a time. Um, and then we will go out and distribute enrichment one at a time. Thank you for the sub. That's the game plan. How do we feel? Are you ready? Dude, why are... It actually really bothers me. Why can't I see... Badges? Mmm. -hmm. Think it's a Twitch pro? Really? That's annoying. Okay, so we're gonna do enrichment, and then we're gonna do um, a monkey session. That's it. That's the plan today. Technically, enrichment for today is crows, parrots, chins, chin, chins, chickens, marmosets. But we're gonna do uh, foxes as well. Um, see user error. Okay. I need ideas. We we should get ideas before we start for what we're doing. I for the for the macaws, I kinda wanna use this. Maybe I cut it in half. And then like hang it up for them. So I'm gonna use this for the macaws. Um foxes, they all they really like presents. People like seeing them unwrap presents, so we could just do boxes for them. Um or a snuffle mat, but then you don't get to see him like rip it up, right? Like I don't know if it, I don't know. We could do a snuffle mat for the crow. The crows are gonna be so scared of it. Um, I don't know. No, the crows don't like the cat toy yet. <laughs> I got my winning plush. Hooray! Um, Squeaks is at 4 p.m. Guys, it was posted. Don't come at me with madges. Like, wait, it's been advertised. Um, we can do bottles for the crows. Yeah, that'd be good. Let's do that. Do bottles for the crows. Do that for the macaws. We'll do something for the littles. I don't know yet. We can do, um... Stuff for the pasture. Or right now. Perhaps. I'm worried they're gonna eat this.
Let's see. Oh, this is only gonna work if we have big carrots. I'm getting, for some reason, I recently started hating having this on my arm, which is weird, because how long have I been using this thing? I just, like, I hate it now. Oh, we do have big carrots. Squeaks in five hours? Uh, yes. Yeah, I hate this thing today. I hate it today. Not four hours, it's 11 a.m. Um, he's here at four. Blow bubbles for Stompy. True. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Pasture enrichment. I've been in it all night. No sleep. Yeah, we're on central time. That looks weird. Actually, it doesn't. You're just a young man. Hello, Pixel. Guys, Flip has to be here all day. All day. We have this right now, and then we have freaking um, Connor stream. Connor got like an automatic feeder for the pasture or something, um, and he's gonna try to set it up today. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. I'm just gonna make marmoset enrichment right now. I'm, guys, do you mind a little like behind the scenes stuff right now while we wait? Too many people to get here. Um, I don't love these for the marmosets, they're too big. I guess they're fine. I guess. I really do. Yes, I mind. I need entertainment now, and this is not quick enough for my brain. <laughs> Shoot! I'm gonna lose them. Can we get some rat action? Hello? Anybody home? No. Subway surfers. Where's Subway Surfers? Thanks. Hello. Thank you. All right, this is Marmoset Enrichment. We do tissue paper. We do just a little bit of... Mealworms? You wanna smell it? You wanna smell it? Smell it? Can you smell it from there? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nasty? They smell so bad. Aww! Cool! Thanks! They smell so good. They really, they smell so bad. <laughs> it's really tragic. Okay, um, and then, oh, fun fact, check this out. We've had these forever, I just don't know if you guys have seen them. This is the Marmoset's banana biscuits. Because <laughs> our Marmosets are so, it's the same for monkeys. And they can only have uh, half, of the, half of one a day. <laughs> but we can only buy them in bulk. Because <laughs> it's for like zoos that have monkeys. <laughs> Good, they're so small, and we only have two. That's a cork? No, it's not. Smell this one. It's nice. It smells like banana. They look kind of tasty. I actually have not eaten this. Mm. 
You want to try it? I'm serious. It actually, genuinely, it's not bad. It, <laughs> it actually is really good. It tastes like banana bread. It tastes like banana bread. <laughs> it's not good, but it's not bad. It's good for what it is. Mm -hmm. Is it just dehydrated banana? I, I, I think mostly. New snack unlocked. Hooray. Now you know what to do with the bulk. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ew, Squeaks messaged me. <laughs> Yuck! Okay, um, Marmoset's done. Pasture, done. Who else is gonna be a bitch to prep or, like, not fun to prep? I'm in and all night. We bring the tennis ball down to the pasture, that's fun. And Stompy's bubbles. PetSmart who gave me dog treats and said it tastes like beef jerky. I would not say that if I worked at PetSmart. This is all pasture enrichment today, guys. Yeehaw. Um, oh my god, I don't have a knife on me. Have to do that. Okay. Uh, we'll do these for the crows, but I'll wait to prep those because that's not, like, not fun. I'll wait to do the foxes. I'll wait to do the parrots. I'll wait to do the rats. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is that it? I feel like that's it. I wonder if, I, if, I wonder if there's anything frozen prepped. Let's see. We might have some frozen stuff prepped that's not front page safe. Because one thing that we do sometimes for the foxes is just like... Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily front page safe, but we just freeze a mouse in there. <laughs> Cause they like it. Maybe I maybe that would be fine for the fox. Do you think that they would be fine with that? I don't know. Is that crazy? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Thank you for the um was it a sub? Thank you for the sub. Asher, J Neck, thank you for the five. It's front page at 12. It's supposed to be 11. But also, Winnie didn't seem like she was on the front page yesterday, so I'm not really sure what's going on. We'll see. Um, you don't have to mention it. It'll be fine. You can try it. It's a, it's a mousicle. Okay. Let's just... Let's do that for the foxes. You are now wicked. Let's do that for the foxes, and let's also wrap them presents. We'll give them both. <laughs> Should we go to the... Let's go to the pasture first, huh? Do, 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 Should we go to the pasture first? Should we do two pasture rounds? Should we do this and then bring these down later when more people are here? Okay. That's the plan. No. I want to bring down chicken enrichment. Because then we'll do the second round where we do parrots and pasture part two. What should I do for chicken? Blow bubbles for the chickens. I, I haven't done that with them. What would they do? I don't know. But we need to give them something else, in addition. Um, let me just give them two of these. Chickens! Alexa, play Sea Shanty 2. Okay, Sea Shanty. Emoji. Mm. Oh, tragedy. That was a mistake. The 
this doesn't. This sucks. I hate this thing. Oh, this has a clip. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Hold on. Maybe I just do this. Maybe I do a little less. I feel like a circus clown. Ah! <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll just do this. Is this even gonna work? Sorry, I am making my way downtown. Perfect. Okay, lettuce. Chickens love lettuce. Ooh, this is fun. I'll grab this one too. For a little surprise. Wait, this is fun too. Put these in there. A little salad. So fun. So thank you, 24 is up for 20 months. Thank you for the 20 months. All right, guys. Chicken enrichment. Here we go. Alexa, play it again. So much fun in that fridge. True. Fridge is so fun. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Close it. Yay! Fun! Part two. Okay. All right. Now we can go. I don't really trust that. What are you gonna do? And I need twine down there to hang these up, which is fine. Alexa, pause it. Wait, it's not that hot. Is it? No. It feels fine. Wicked. I wish this is how my food got delivered. Do you have to solve a puzzle first? Why would you want that? I don't think, I'd be so pissed off if I ordered food and I had to solve a puzzle. Also, it's not really a puzzle. I would starve. If I was given this, I would also starve. But chickens are way smarter than me, so. Oliver! I take it back, it's really bright. It kinda hurts. Um, let's go to the chickens second. Go to the pasture first. Flashbang! 
You guys could hear Oliver on this mic, really? It's kind of crazy. I take it back, it's hot outside and it's really, really bright. You gotta change the color of this driveway. Mods. Change the color of the driveway. Hello. Can you imagine if one of us had blue eyes right now? What a handicap. Okay. That's for the chickens. I can't see the chat phone. Guys, the Sarah's hives are better, but he still has some. Um. Hi. Oh, look who it is. It's fudgy. Fudgy! No offense, you look a little fat. I feel like you've been getting let out too much. You're a little chunky, dude. Good stretch. You guys wanna see, Sarah and I used to do carrot stretches because it's good for his back. So he has to stretch all the way over here. <laughs> and stretch all the way on this side. Stretch. You can't move, you have to stretch. Good job. Good job. And then the last one, <laughs> he's down here, <laughs> look, down, stretch, <laughs> stretch, <laughs> when I was like actually doing work with him in college and we were like riding every day, I did the stretches every day, hello sir. Hello, donk. Big stretch. I'm just gonna get, uh... Oh no, it's locked. I'm just gonna get twine to hang these up. Oh. Rut row. He's biting you? Sorry. Uh-oh. Remember how I was like, I don't have a knife. Remind me I need to get a knife. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, because, I said that because we only have two, oh, never mind. Here's another one. Easy peasy. Okay. You can't even say classic anymore. I'm so good about having a knife on me nowadays. Just not today. Horse is stressing me out. Okay, I'm gonna hang this up for you. You have to give me a freaking second. Okay, chill out. Over here. No, don't go over there. No! Only here. There, eat it. Yours is right there. Look, it's right here. Brain, brain, yes. Hello, chicken. Chicken, would you like to see the equine enrichment today? He likes it. Do this to the donkeys before the Sarah finishes as he's like already halfway done because of the stretching.
There's a donkey one. That's for you. This one's for you. Look at this. This is scary. Oh, it's scary. Yay. <laughs> All right, jalapeno. Jalpeno! This is for you. Well, he's going over there. You can go to them. They're sharing, that's so nice. Struggling, he's struggling. <laughs> Drama. Uh oh, that last piece is really in there. Drama! Hey, bud. <laughs> you got a cut on your face, huh? Should we put some ointment on it? It's called Corona. Works great for cuts and stuff. But we're pretty much fresh out of it. Hi, bud. What is that? It's just a little ointment. Thanks. I said, keeps flies off of them. Good boy. Do they have it on Amazon? I think they do. We should put that on a wish list. Wish list! Space, ding donk. Put some Corona on the wish list. I think that's all we have. Wait, 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 wait. I might be stupid. Don't put it on the wish list. Don't put it on, don't put it on the wish list. I have so much. There's so much. Already bought 10. No! <laughs> Big old tub of it. Chicken. It'd be very nice if you took a bath today. He's pissed. So where's my carrot ball? Bad news, dude. He's going to find yours. But in fairness, you took his, so... No, I don't have anything for you. I have nothing. He's going to find it. Go get it. Hurry. He's going. He's found it. He's found it. He's found it. Yay, he's a genius. Hi, bud. <laughs> okay. Heads up, you got a chicken behind you. Okay, let's go do the chickens, speaking of which. Stompy bath later. Wait. It's fine. 
We're gonna do the chicken. We're gonna do chicken enrichment twice because I want to give them bubbles today. Just See what they do. They have the 19 months. Jump. Sounds fun. Bubbles. Hooray. People pog. Hi, Phoebe Hanna subbed for the first time. Hello. Thank you. High five, Hannah. Thank you for the sub. Chickens. Sable underscore 24 subbed for the first time. Okay, okay, okay. Niktar 28 subbed for five months. Niktar Sable, thank you so much. Moose! Thank you so much. No. I don't. Bean, thank you for the sub. Hey. Hello, Beetle. Hello, little dope. Actually, I don't know what that truck is here for. Don't worry about the truck noises. There's a truck. <laughs> Hello, Oliver. Hi. Gosh, thank you, guys. Nine bell sub for the first time. Oh my god. Gamer need about medals. Thank you guys. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna try to hang this from here. I'm um, unfortunately uh... Oh that's a. Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> it's like just too short. Maybe I can hang it. Wow. Hi, Kayla. For the first time. Thank you for the sub. Cowpool, cowface, thank you. Look at him go. Enriched. Hi, Nugget. <laughs> Is it moving too fast? Oh no, Nugget found the other one. Nugget! No. Doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Hello, chicken. Gabe the sniper donated twenty dollars. Tell Stompy to stop being so cute sometimes. <laughs> also, thank you for doing what you do. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you for the twenty. Thank you so much. Um. Well, well, that was tragic. One thousand bits. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> oh, 
Oliver. Hold on, I need to fix it. Ma'am. Hi. Just gifted five tier ones. Yay! Thank you for the five. Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, saved. It will not fall off now. Nuggets on a roll. She left. She's coming back for more. <laughs> so fun. Um, thank you for the five. All right, guys. Chickens are enriched. So fun. They're so fun. They really like these. I should do these more. We usually only give these cages to the parrots. I, we've given it to the chickens before. It's a moving target. <laughs> they were like moving their heads to try to keep. I'm definitely afraid of birds. These ones are nice. Gabe the sniper donated twenty dollars. I think twenty wasn't enough. Thank Let's you. One. Thank you for the twenty, Oliver. That's for you. That's your aim, bud. Don't get hit in the head. Thank you so much. They like it. Did I get? It? It's nice. It's nice chicken. He's so pretty. He's probably one of the prettiest chickens I've ever had. Grew up with chickens. None of them were as cool as Oliver. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Very ha- Oh. Very handsome. Oliver, do you have anything to say? What a guy. <laughs> He's so cute! Ah, you just wanna like squish him? Connor. Where's Connor going? Alright. Let's go back up. Tell us how you really feel, Oliver. All right, 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 all right. Okay, um, up to the uh, nut house. All right. Um, and we will. Let's prep and rip. Whoa! Could make Stompy happy. <laughs> Thank you for the fifty dollar donation. <laughs> In addition to your forty dollar donation, stop! I don't know where he is. Thank you so much. Um, all the donations obviously go to Elvis, not to me. Um, today, but that's the huge on the keeping streams, you know. Um, let's go prep some parrot enrichment. Go give it to the parrots um, and bring down all the extra stuff to do the pasture and the. Um, Pasture in the chickens again. It's almost lunchtime. No, no, it is 11 wow. It's 11 40. It's been 40 minutes. Five tier one Thank you for the five hissy fits. Thank you so much. Ooh, a five pack. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, 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 all right. I don't know what they're doing. Backing up. Mia's backing up. I wish you could take Stompy to the pet store to pick out toys. We would get sued. Stompy would wreck havoc inside of a building. I cannot imagine. 
letting him loose in a pet smart. Okay. Parrot enrichment. Hello. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Gave the sniper donated one hundred dollars. All right. Let's also make Alvius happy then. Stompy is happy. Now. Gave it a hundred dollars. What the heck? Gave her the sniper. Thank you so much. I'll be right now. I used to be love. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm making pair enrichment. Where are the goats who attack the Bota sisters? Oh, they're here. They're here. Hello, Connor. Who's that? Oh. Do you guys think this is half? What about that? What do you think? Oh, so close. That was really close. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This is Macaws. This is Littles. Easy, easy, easy. I need newspaper. Actually, no, I want this. Check this out. Isn't that fun? Kayla, they're saying hi. Hi. <laughs> Baking paper, uh, packing paper. Ooh, it's like bubble wrap. Yeah, kind of. Connor, they're saying hi. <laughs> uh oh, you guys made him upset. Uh oh. Thank you for the ten. Yeah, Connor needs a Red Bull. Um. Okay, so we have for Saturday. We are doing one of the sets. Wicked! Ella is going to be on property, probably hanging out with her brother, but, um... Okay. The joke going. Okay. Um, <laughs> and she'll come out every so often when we're doing design points, just to make, like, make sure we're... Cool. All so, okay. we've got... <laughs> yeah, we are doing it. You so, are. Subs! Wow. Stores! Stores. Thank you so much. Well, we got a little bit of fence work to do. Yuck. And then Kayla's going to just drop tomorrow. Yeah. So if you're around, could you use some help? Yeah, 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 She's going to prep diets today for tomorrow. I think in the next couple days will kind of be a wash training-wise anyway, because we're going to go all day. Yeah. I'm not going to start anything new with anybody before we get, like, the whole world drop. Yeah. Whoa, guys, Connor and Caleb with a C have been playing soccer, pickup soccer. If you. <laughs> That's very lucky. Connor scored last weekend. It's pretty sick. I gotta buy new shoes. Already bought new shoes, I'm gonna take them back and get better shoes. Okay. I'm so sorry. you did have a problem with your new shoes? I did. It wasn't that they didn't fit right, it's that they're just too bulky. Mm. Mm -hmm. They were $30. You can only get so much out of $30. She's already starting to fall apart. Fair. Guys, these are for the parrots. Okay. Little tubes, right? Some sunflower seeds in the tubes. There will be more. Space got to feed your door. Oh, sick. So we're a go. We're a go, he says. I would like to do this, but my hand's not gonna fit down it. I need like a really long chopstick or something. Eh. Uh. <laughs> it's fine. 
That's as far as it's going. Broomstick's too big. I'm not making a bomb. Why does all my enrichment end up looking like a bomb? Have you ever tasted that monkey chow? This one, no. Kayla, we did try the banana biscuits this morning. They're, they kind of taste like banana bread, just like really old banana bread. They're kind of dry. Yeah. A seed bomb. Thank you for the 21 months, Brockovich. Okay. So that's the macaws. Hold on. We do more. Do these for the macaws. We do these for the littles. And we're ready to fucking roll. Pecan. It does look like I'm like loading up something. <laughs> Jeez. I've an oiler today. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 50. Okay. He's rich. Um, macaws, done. Well, that one is done. This one. Yeah, it's $250. Okay, okay. Okay, I really don't like not having um, badges because I can't recognize who is typing. It stresses me out. This is Littles. Where are the enrichment for? This is for parrots. So we have an African gray, a blue fronted Amazon, a blue and gold macaw, and a Catalina macaw. And then we just have to hang them up. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Hank them. <laughs> Hang them. Um, I don't actually know what the best way to do this is. I guess. Dude. Thank you so much. What the heck? I need a knife. Thank you for the 10! Look at all these donos, you guys. What the heck? Space, could you put an ice pick on the wish list? I'm serious. Love the birds. Thank you so much. Okay, you're gonna see the birds and just, aww. It whipped it. Maybe I can just do this. Stay. It's fine. How are we doing, Maya and Connor? Connor's gone, but I think he's fine. Flip is in here, Kayla's in here. Ow. Soiled it. Soiled it. Ow. Soiled it. Soiled it. That'll stay as well. More string. Use your teeth? No. Why would I do that? How do I subscribe without paying money? I was just robbed of all my money. Unfortunately, that is the only way to subscribe, but uh, 
You can follow for free, and you can watch for free. Oh! You can use your Twitch Prime. I thought he was being serious. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe with Twitch Prime. Whoa! Well, because I was thinking he was serious, and I was like, oh, he has no money, he doesn't have Twitch Prime. Sunflower seeds, Gaber. Oh, gifted to Gaber. A skill pet. Clara. Clara. Thank you. Llamas resubbed for two months. Llamas. Thank you. All right. Littles. The cause. Pasture, pasture, chickens. Thank you for the primes. Cannibalic P. Gave of a sniper donated. Again. Oh my gosh. But this is the last one, I swear. Also, I named my rescued bearded dragon after you, Maya. What? This beardy has helped me through so much, which is why I think Alvius deserves so much. Gaber! Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you, you for the hundred dollars! Tell your beardy I said hi. Give him a calcium clotted blueberry for me. That's so sweet. For the first time. Thank you. Liar Songbird gifted a tier one sub to Dingless Town. Jeez. Thank you for the subs. Um, Gabriel, thank you so much. It's very generous donations today. Oh. Um. Crazy. Crazy! Crazy. 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 Ice pick. I've never used an ice pick. Isn't it just like a screwdriver, but real sharp? In which case, actually, that would be pretty ideal. Hello, Siren! You guys want to do the parrots first? Let's do the parrots, that's cool, and then we'll go to the pasture. Honestly, it's definitely hot enough for a stompy bath right now if he wants to go in. Stompy bath with bubbles, bubble bath. No, I don't think that there are bubbles that would be safe, but I can blow bubbles around the vicinity of the tub, of the pool. That would be sick. Hello, Siren. Are you ready for some enrichment? Hello. Hi. All right, let's see. Let's see. Is this guy okay? Is a beautiful number, I feel like. <laughs> Don't you think? Gaber, thank you for the another one hundred dollars. What the heck, dude? What's this spray for? Uh, it's a veterinary disinfectant, uh, so we don't spread anything from enclosure to enclosure. Thank you for the hundred dollars. Siren. Holy shit. Dude, this was at the macaws. Here's what it looks like normally, right? It was this beautiful thing that we got from the P.O. box. And the macaws weren't really destroying it. So I put it over here thinking it was too big for the littles. That, like, they, uh, that they wouldn't be able to, to ruin it. Oh my god, you guys. Have you had a good time with that? Hi. Hi. Well, maybe we need to get another one of those. Here, Mia. What the hell? Siren, I'm gonna give you one too. Okay, okay, well, apparently that one's Siren's. Let me get Mia's. Mia. Mia! Mia, Mia! Here you go. Siren, it's the same thing! No! 
Okay, that's really messed up. Siren, come here. Eat this one. There you go. You don't think he was joking? See, that's what I thought. Sound like shield? I want it. Okay, I didn't miss that. What do you think, Mia? Wow. So fun. So destructive. Incredible. Siren, don't. Enriched. You film them. I'm sitting. Dude, my... What did you say? It's a, are you the one that said it was my sciatic nerve? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, my sciatic nerve hurts. <laughs> did you ever go get it checked out? No. Because it started feeling better, but then every time I do something that's hard, the next day, I'm in, like, a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And it hurts today. Yeah, it hurts from yesterday. I'm having to sit a little more today. Um, first time catching you live. Hi! Ardently Beetle, what's up? Um, no, I don't want to go to urgent care. Old age stuff, do some deadlifts, no. You should try icing it before bed, really? Back injuries. Um, so, wait, someone asked, oh, what's the nutritional value here? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a toilet paper roll. No, um, there's... Uh, sunflower seeds in there, which is mostly a training treat for them, but they really like it. Uh, and then there's a pistachio in each of those. It's healthy fats for them, um, and it's like their favorite treat ever, and it encourages them to play with these toys. It's really good for their mental um, to shred things <laughs> and to forage for their food. It's just part of being a parrot, you know? So. It's both... Uh, nutritional value and um, so that they can play with something. Hi. Hi. Yeah, the stuff on the toilet paper roll is fine. They don't eat any of that. Um, they just tear it up and drop it on the floor and then we pick it up the next day. Did you guys notice um, these plants? Are these plants down here? I think these are tomatoes. And we didn't plant them. I think it's because we feed them tomatoes and, like, we spray the, their poop and, like, seeds into the beds. So we've grown a bunch of tomatoes. And then over here, we're also growing tomatoes. And then my mom thinks that's a sunflower, which also makes sense because we have tons of sunflower seeds in here all the time. Free produce! So we'll see. We'll see if we grow any actual tomatoes. Agriculture. Seed dispersers. Hi. New York, are there any good zoos here to visit? Is the Bronx any good? I've never been. I don't know. I went to the Turtleback Zoo. I think it's in New Jersey, though. That one was all right. Bye. The Wolf Conservation Center is in New York. That's right. Yeah, you could go there. I don't know. Are you not wanting your enrichment today? Just Mia? Man, she is like I know, Mama. making progress on that thing. You having fun? <laughs> they love it. I don't know. Okay. Putting in work. All right, that is Mia and Siren. I'm gonna give them a cause there, enrichment. Now, here's one. This is the inside of a wrapping paper. Oh God. Oop. I wanted to put it there, but I missed my window of opportunity. I might miss this one as well. Just barely. 
I just needed to say thank you for the gifted tier one sub and wanted to wish a good day to everybody. Remember, thank you. You are loved and all of you are important on this planet. Never forget this. Thank you for the Sadness 50. For giving animals a safe place to live. What the heck? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, wh what the heck? How did you do that? How did she do that? How'd she know where that was? I'm serious. Did she, did you, I wasn't watching. Was she grabbing it with her foot? Did she feel around for that? I don't know. That was crazy. Apparently I'm too predictable. She knows there's a pecan in there. You're on the main front page now, wicked. That was sick. Um, so Miley has not, well, Miley might be close to that. I don't know where her pecan is. Um, we're looking at Tico right now. Tico, oh, I think we are. I can't tell. Um, Tico is a blue and gold macaw. Um, that is a, for the first time. Seer sent me a text. I hate to use you like a Wikipedia for animals. Someone said that this is um, a scorpion. I don't know if it's alive or dead. It hasn't moved since I've seen it. Um, I don't know scorpion ID. Sorry, I'm trying to ID a scorpion for Seer. He's scared. <laughs> um, is it not bad if the animals eat anything? Uh, they're, they don't eat it. They're really just looking for their nuts. They tear it up. Um, we haven't noticed them eating anything. The only animals here that have eaten uh, things are the foxes. The foxes will eat... Uh, they will eat that string, the, the colorful string, so we had to stop giving it to them. Just sad. Oh, it's a, it's a striped bark scorpion. Scorpion sting. Non-lethal stings, maybe mild to strong, produce swelling, discoloration, numbness, last, oh. All right, um, sorry. So, a parrot can live outside and go back home when it's dark like chicken. <laughs> yeah, kinda. They have uh, inside rooms, like here, um, and they have radiant heating panels. Not that they need it right now, it's like 90 degrees. Um, but they have radiant heat panels in there and AC in there so they can go out inside if they want to. Um, so above my head right now is mm -hmm, Tico. Tico's blue and gold macaw. Um, Tico was dropped off in a box outside of an SPCA in California. Um, and then, and then uh, Miley is a Catalina macaw. She found the pecan, good job. A Catalina macaw is a hybrid between a blue and gold, which is Tico, and a scarlet macaw, which is that classic red parrot that you see on pirates and stuff like that. So not a naturally occurring species, but Still very cool, regardless. They'll have a ways to go on these um, on these toys because there's sunflower seeds in here as well. As you can see, Mia's going for Siren. Siren gave up. Siren, that's on you, girl. Could have been you, but you wanted both and then you left, so. You lost your chance. I don't know. Now she's going for the one that Mia was going for. That's very cool of you, Saren. What do you think? Did you get everything? I think you did. Looks like you did. Oh no, there's a pistachio. 
Someone dropped their pistachio. Siren, Mia probably ate that one because you were not down here. Pistachio! Okay, let's go see what the chickens think about bubbles. <laughs> Shall we? Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. How old are these birds? We don't know how old they are because they're rescues. Um, but the macaws can live 60 to 70 years. The little is more like 50 to 60 years. Dude. Thank you for the 50 again, Gaber. Actual oiler. What the heck? Thank you for the sub. Um. Okay. Chat, welcome to the chicken enrichment segment part two, where I show the chickens non-toxic bubbles. So far, uh, they're not abused. They're scared. Oh no! Are they scary? It's okay! It's okay! They don't like them. You wanna see again? Look, Nugget. They don't look. <laughs> well, I don't think they're gonna start liking them, so. That's how they feel about, <laughs> about bubbles. But we'll go give them to Stompy. Stompy loves bubbles. He said, no thanks. I tried. I did. It was worth a shot. Imagine they loved them and they chased them around and they had so much fun. That's not what happened, but imagine. This is pasture enrichment part two today. Big tennis ball. I'm gonna give it to Winnie. Or Stompy. Stompy, I have bubbles for you and also a tennis ball. If you want a tennis ball, I don't think you do. Chicken? Maybe they like the tennis ball instead. I don't think the chickens would like the tennis ball. I think they'd be scared of the tennis ball as well. Stompy! Why is it so fast? I didn't think it would move that fast. Gabe the sniper donated four hundred. Huh? Let's spring the total to one thousand dollars and call it a day. <laughs> what in the oiler is going on today? <laughs> Gaber, thank you for the four hundred dollars. A thousand dollars today. Um, Alves is a nonprofit animal sanctuary. All of his money is going into um, the the care of these animals and the education programming that we do with them for conservation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stompy doesn't want the ball. Let's go take it to Winnie. Stompy needs a shiny ball. A ball made out of steel. <laughs> Winnie! Oh, it's hot today. Dog boy 415 resubbed for four months. Hello at Maya Maya he cheer less than three Maya he called. Hello, thank you for the four months. That's so nice. K dog. Winnie! I have a ball for you. Hi, Serana, you want this? Oh. 
That's so brave of him. Oh. Here, it rolls. Do you like it? The underscore source underscore is sub for twenty. Ball. If you could be any bug, what bug would you be? Super bug, wow. Uh, Sam Gaming sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Um, I would be a... Uh, I don't know. For the cow! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna scare the donkey. Serato, look out! Ooh. <laughs> He's okay. We're we filming the fucking bird. <laughs> okay, well, the ball's over there. Um, I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, bubbles. Freaking bird, pardon me. Chicken? I have something for you. an emu? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it popped in my eye. He's finding the source. <laughs> he hasn't pecked any yet. Too fast for you. Too much wind. Wow. They're too fast. To I'm gonna take a bath. <gasps> Stompy! You got a sub. Thank you. Chicken? Would you like to go in bath? Sincerity four hundred and fifteen sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Oh. Good job. Oh. Okay. Not the absolute most grateful, graceful, but that was fine. Is it nice? He's in. He did it. Bird bath. Take this thing off my wrist. Submarine. Stompy's an emu. Um, he's February, March, April. He's two years and a few months old. He was born on, hatched out on Valentine's Day. Okay. He was hatched out on Valentine's Day. Um, so he turned two this Valentine's Day. Celestial host sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub, Celestial. I'm gonna grab the hose 
see if he wants the hose in there. Ready? Hose. Chicken? Am I stupid? There's no way this hose doesn't go all the way over there. Does it not? You wanna just have a shower? Shower time. Water chicken. Okay, thank you. It's nice. Okay, well, apparently, I don't know how we're filling it up. I don't know why, maybe it just got stuck. I don't know. It definitely is longer than that. No, there's so much hose in there. It's just stuck. Ah, oh, you just have to pull it harder. Go again. I don't even know if she wants to get back in this pool. He. Here you go. Give me a chicken. Give me a chicken. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hello. Don't peck me. Don't peck me. Don't peck me. Thank you for the sub. He's leaving. He's leaving! Thank you for the six months. Decisive. Watch the cameraman rings. Well, that might be all the stompy bath you're getting today, you guys. He doesn't like the shade cloth that covers this pool because it moves when it's windy and it scares him. Um, and it's a little, there's like a little breeze today, so I assume that's why he doesn't want to be in here. Oh, sorry if you have to pee. Stompy, are you done? One more shot. He's walking away. He's going to that water tub. That's actually the end. Um... 
over here. What? I think he thought I was gonna spray him there. Stompy. <laughs> Stompy, over here. Come on, you can yeah, crawl over here, you weird animal. I'm not even spraying you. Yeah. Here, he come. Here, he come. Thank you. Uh-oh, not the shade cloth. Stomp, you have to step in on the rock. Here. Here. It's gonna be a little tough if you step in that way. You can. Thank you. Yeah, step right there. What? Yeah. Okay. That was, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Only, <laughs> Stompy, don't, you can't just, <laughs> yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. Don't peck me. Yeah. I'm so confused with what he's choosing to do right now. <laughs> you can do it. He was so close, you guys. It's a difficult maneuver, okay? Thank you for the $10. Guys, the mechanics are just, they're tough, okay? He's on, ow! He's on hard mode. Yes. Incredible, Stompy. Incredible work. Amazing. Just absolutely incredible immediate success. I'm so impressed with your athletic prowess. <laughs> Let's go! Thank you for the sub. Yay, he's swimming! There he goes, happy chicken! <laughs> Happy chicken! Patience is key, chat. Good things will come if you wait. He went right under the fountain. He likes it. <laughs> I love Stompy. Ow, are you okay? <laughs> said... He's swimming. No, oh no, peck me. <laughs> yeah. 
Is that so nice? They're swimming. Funny raptor. Yeah. Oh, Stompy! Splash zone. Thank you for the eight months. Splash zone. Can you swim? What? What do you mean? Obviously. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, yeah, they can. Submarine. He doesn't need shampoo, he's clean. Clean. Um, isn't it hard to clean? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's worth it, because Stompy loves it. Don't peck me. I'm in the splash zone. Don't peck me. Don't peck me. How much does Stompy weigh? Um, less than 100 pounds for sure. I don't know exactly how much though. Please. Um high buoyancy individual. So Stompy's an emu, a common emu. It's an Australian bird. Um, just over two years old. Uh, a ratite, same family as ostriches, cassowaries, rheas. Um, love swimming. Love swimming. Um, we got Stompy. Stompy was the first ambassador we ever rescued here. Um, Stompy was born at a zoo in California and his mom didn't sit on his egg uh, and so he was incubated and raised by humans and then was transported here um, as an ambassador so I can teach people about um, animals in the exotic meat trade. Emu meat was super popular back in the 90s, it's less popular now, but uh, there are a lot of species um, that, that are circulating throughout the, the exotic meat trade and a lot of those species populations are affected because of that trade. Emus have not been affected, their populations anyway. Um, but yeah, some animals are not as lucky as emus are. Oh, please. It's a big duck. So yeah, that's why we have Stompy. Um, there's a YouTube video about Stompy if you want to watch it. Pretty good one. Sleepy Eritrea donated ten dollars. Unrestrained summer fun. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay, this pool's getting a little full. I'm gonna go turn it off, or I'm gonna turn the water off, and he can keep taking a bath, but. I think the water needs to be turned off. Oh, splash them. You're so fun. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. So yeah, there's a whole YouTube video where I, where I talk about Stompy and the exotic meat trade and uh, the emu war of 1932, um, Australia had a war against emus. Um, farmers were given a bunch of land after the war in Australia in 1932, and then um, they, emus were an agricultural pest. They would go in and ruin their crops. And so the Australian farmers, oh, the wind's going the wrong way. Wind's going the wrong way. Uh, Australian farmers went to the Minister of Agriculture 
um, or I'm sorry, the Minister of Defense instead of the Minister of Agriculture, and uh, were given permission to try to coal emu populations with machine guns. Um, and the emus were too fast. They can run up to 31 miles an hour, um, which in kilometers per hour is something. I don't know. <laughs> Um, maybe like 50? 60? No, not 60. Uh, no, more than 60. What is it? 50? 60? Oh, 55? Okay, good enough guess. Anyway, um, he just tried to eat a grasshopper that drowned in there and then decided he didn't want to eat it. Sorry. Um, so yeah, they, they were unable to cull those emu populations despite having machine guns, and, and then they gave up. So that's, that's why people say they lost a war to emus. Are you done? All right. He's over it. <laughs> Did you have fun? I don't know why he goes out that way. It would be way easier for him to go out this way. Bog frag out resupped for seven months. Thank I you for the seven months. Plushy and was wondering if I water it to help it grow. Um, no, don't do that. It'll maybe mold. Will he roll in the dirt now? Probably not. No, he'll probably just air dry. Will we get an emu friend for Stompy? Um, no. Stompy is an imprinted emu. She was raised by he was raised by people. Um, after being incubated by people, so he's never grown up with other emus. I'm not sure how he would do with another emu. He likes a Cicero, though, the horse. Thank you for the 18 months. Retractable hose. Don't worry. I always get it the first try. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Winnie! Hey! Squeaks today. Man, you're all Squeaks fans, huh? Yeah, Squeaks is coming at 4 p.m. today. Stompy bath. Done. Dote. Dote. What does Squeaksing my shit mean? You know what? I'll ask him that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Okay, um, what's next? We have, we can make crow enrichment and then go give it to the crows, and we can take foxes up while we're at it. It is now 12.35, oh, seer. Dude, he's so nice. I'm not asking Seer about January 6th. Or Seer, I mean, <laughs> Squeaks. Sorry, I was just talking about Seer. I'm not asking Squeaks about January 6th. Sorry, Seer. <laughs> Stuff. Okay, um, so it feels like this is about the normal crowd, maybe like a little bit more than what the normal crowd is. How do you guys feel about mousicles?
And when I say that, I mean. I got the hat in the back so you can grab it. Uh huh. I mean, m whole mice frozen in water in a popsicle shape. It's okay, I'll just look away. Sounds tasty. I just want to be sure all y'all are cool with that. It's not going to freak you out. Hello. Kayla, could I give the foxes the uh, mouse things? Or are you saving that for another day? The frozen ones? Like in the molds? Okay. All right. All right. Wash my hands. Uh, we buy the mice frozen. We don't euthanize them here. Okay. All right. We're gonna make crow enrichment, and we're gonna go give those to the foxes. I'm almost done prepping the iceberg. Wow. Cool. Next time you come back, the farmer's note should be ready to go. Okay. I haven't even thought about it yet, so you're good. <laughs> you're good. They're definitely ready now. Like <laughs> I tried to do bubble enrichment with the chickens. They did not like them. They were scared. <laughs> I'm giving the rats a shallow dish of water today to see what happens. I have you seen the videos of the rats with peas? They go like pea bobbing. What? And what like just green peas. And you put them in water and they float and they use their little hands and grab them. <laughs> it's really cute. But perhaps if they decide that they enjoy the water, we can put some in it. Yay! I've seen ducks do that on TikTok. Ducks also like doing that. Yeah. One of my friends sent me a video over the weekend of this woman bringing her pet ducks. To so Duncan? Yeah. Yeah. Ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. And then in the comments, there was a video of them at the Sonic Ice, which was very cute. Nice. Who would like some Sonic Ice? out of our animal. I, you know what I want to do as a keeping stream this summer is, um, 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 I'm gonna grab the cat kibble. Uh, shaved ice or like snow in a kiddie pool for the foxes. I just don't know how to get that much shaved ice without buying a, like whole Thing and slowly shaping yeah. a bunch of snow cones. We'll see. Guys, I'm making crow enrichment right now. I'm putting stuff in here for the crows, okay? Right now there's mealworms and cat kibble in there. I'm gonna put some blocks and things in here. Oh no. the 13 months. You can get it delivered. Lud got snow for cutie. Well, okay, Lud's rich. <laughs> we might be able to do that. I don't know if it's expensive or not. I assume some stores sell shaved ice. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I need to look into it, but that's, that's an idea for this summer, for a keeping stream. Be a good time. Couldn't rent a snow cone machine. I mean, you could. It would just take so long. Okay. Straws. I don't know. Okay. Let's bring this to the crows. Let's get our mousicles for the foxes. Come back and we'll see the marmosets. 
plan, everybody. Break. ice blocks and a wood chipper. I don't think you should put an ice block and a wood chipper, personally. Okay, don't look if you don't want to look, but look if you want to look. Um, we have mousicles for the foxes today. It's a hot day. They like whole prey. They get whole prey sometimes. Um, both chicks and I think they've gotten quail, I don't remember, um, mice and rats. And so we have whole mice frozen in water right now and it's like a popsicle for them. So we're gonna go up to the foxes first because these will melt really quick. Um, and then we'll give these to the crows after. It'd be fun, don't worry. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Thanks. Oh, never mind. What gets this? The foxes get this? We're going to foxes right now? Wow. This is for the crows. Fly your ox up for the first time. Thank you for the sub. What are you doing? Working on the gate. Yay! I'm going to have to uh, fence in the whole top of the barbecue enclosure because there's huge gaps. And a bunch of wood. In the outside part? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sucks. Okay. Are you not afraid of like snakes getting in there and eating them? Um. I mean, there's been snakes that have gotten in the crow enclosure. Uh. It's. It's a possibility, I suppose. But that wire is much smaller gauge than this wire. Yay, thanks. Me too. Is that piece of the paper for the crows? I'll, uh, I'll walk through everything that's in these jars when we get back. We're gonna do foxes first. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was a sub from Pierre Pressure. Thank you for the sub. Any Twitch, any primers? Any Twitch primers? I think, oh, I like these flowers a lot. These are the ones I keep calling them Indian painted blankets. Cause that's, I feel like I had eat them years ago. And they're pretty distinctive. I can't remember, look at it. Is that what that is? People pop, wow. It's pretty. Universe 1,401 sub for the first time. Wow. Thank you. Universe time. hamster. Thank you for the subs. Pop, Twitch wow. Prime subs. Denvac sub for the first Denvac. time. Thank you so much. Pop, wow. Hi foxes. False days sub for the first time. False days. Thank you for the sub. The underscore Addy resub for three months. Thank you for three months. Jojen, Dalton, thank you. Liquid, games Liquid, thank you. Primers, hooray! All right. Finn, I have something for you. Something special. Just don't fill me in here, I'm boring. Read. You want this? Come here. It's for you. People pop, wow. It's for you. Crayon is Coro 065 resub for 14 months. <laughs> Yum. Okay. He's chewing it. Tasty. 
Agent 7 sub for the first time. They can eat the bones? Yes, they can. Blatant, Cray, Frisp, Akoya, Zello, thank you for the subs. Zello Manji subbed for the first time. Oh, he's taking it. <laughs> Are they pettable? They don't really like being pet, no. Um, Finn will let people touch him sometimes. Not often. Mackenzie Lee resubbed for two months. Friends made some progress on that one. Would they bury it? They may try. So, Finn and Reed in here, they're both European red foxes. People pug, wow. Um, they're an Izzy 508 supped for the first time. The real Nizzy Mackin, thank you for the subs. Um, <laughs> Finn isn't red because he was bred in captivity for the pet trade and people want them to be different colors. Like people want dogs to be different colors and so that's why he's not red. Oh, he's gonna go try to take Reed's. Aww. Reed. You gonna go find Finn's? Okay, or go get yours, Finn. Make up your mind. He's like Siren. He's happy. Do foxes have a super sense of smell like dogs? I'm not sure how they're... Uh, how their sense of smell compares to dogs. I mean, they're both canines, um, so I imagine it's similar, but I don't know. Who is the oldest animal at all this? Probably a Sarah. He's, he's 21. Hey, bud. Reed's here. Oh, never mind. he's leaving. Or the parrots. Yeah, the parrots could be older, for sure. Do you still ride them? Yeah, sometimes. Nothing crazy, though. We don't really work. How long do horses usually live? Uh, 20 to 30 years, 30's old. But Sarah looks really good right now. I feel pretty good about him. He hasn't even really started licking, oh, never mind. He's starting. How many hours a week do you work here? Oh boy, I live here. Um, I don't know. I, I know it's more than 50. It, I don't know if it's more than 60 and I don't know if it's more than 70. <laughs> Probably not. It's. What, 10, 7, 9 times, no, here, let's see, 
Maybe it's 60. I don't know. Like 60 to 70, probably. I heard that Reed messes with cameras. He does like to mess with the live cams, yeah. So what are they eating? Um, it is a whole mouse frozen in an ice cube. Yummy, cold, crunchy mouse. Finn likes it. Hmm? Yeah. Good view of Finn's teeth. Can we ask how much money it costs to maintain Alveus? Um, our annual operating is approaching $300,000 a year. That's not including the property itself. Um, it's on my property and I pay the mortgage for it. Um, with that, it would be more like 350, no. Yeah, it'd be more like 350. Do they get regular vet checks like pets do? Good question. Um, yes. For the first time. Uh, hi, bud. Um, no, I, there's no more. It's just that one. Um, they do, they get annual vet checks, um, but a vet comes here, an exotic vet comes here. She's coming here on Monday. He wants to take my silicone tray because he can smell the thermomycin. <laughs> you can't have it, I'm sorry. Um, our vet is coming here on Monday to do physicals on everybody. How do you fund the place? Uh, through what we're doing now. It's mostly funded through private donations from other creators and um, donations from viewers because we run everything online here. Um, I do apply for grants like normal nonprofits. Um, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, we do merch. Uh, we do plushies, stuff like that. Squeaks is coming um, at 4 p.m. today. It is now. Oh, it's almost 1 p.m. here in Texas, so in a few hours. Are they trainable? Um, yeah, so Kayla and Ella do training with the foxes regularly. Um, most of the training that we do here is for husbandry, so getting them to voluntarily go in a crate um, and show us their feet for nail trims and you know and show us the bottom of their feet for sores and, and stuff like that just so that we don't have to force them into really stressful veterinary behaviors or procedures sorry um, so we do training like that and then Kayla has also or Kayla and Ella have also trained them to weigh themselves that's another husbandry behavior so they'll step on a scale um, they both sit uh, they both shake Yeah, we're not open to the public, unfortunately. All virtual. Um, safer for me as a streamer, um, and it's safer for the animals as well because they don't have to deal with public coming through here. Is their poop comparable to dogs? Yeah, it looks very similar to dog poop, yeah. Uh, the foxes don't really interact with other animals. No, it's just the two of them. Do you ever think you'll do ex exhibitions for people to see the animals, not at the sanctuary, but somewhere else? No, um, none of these animals go off site unless it's for um, veterinary reasons. We don't take them off site for education programs how many employees do you have um, we have 
two full-time and two part-time. Um, and then we are working on hiring another full-time animal care staff right now. Sometimes they interact with butterflies. That's true. Someone said, someone said, do, 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 do. Uh, wild animals shouldn't be kept in captivity is all I'm saying. It's not humane to me. You are free to have your opinion just as I am. So with all the animals that we have at the sanctuary here, uh, they are non-releasable for a number of reasons. The two foxes you're looking at right now, um, Finn, who's the darker one, was rescued from the illegal pet trade in California. Um, and so he was born and raised in captivity and does not have the skills to take care of himself. Reed uh, was orphaned as a baby in the wild, was raised by humans, also doesn't have the ability to take care of himself, but is also technically an invasive species because they're European red foxes, so it would be illegal to release him here. For these two individuals and for the rest of the animals at our facility, the options for them are either euthanasia or remain in captivity um, as educational ambassadors to teach people about the problems that they face in the wild. So. These ones are not animals that you could let out. If you release these animals into the wild, they would die. Um, and it probably wouldn't be very pretty. They don't know what they're supposed to be afraid of. They don't know what food to find, so they may starve. Uh, they, they may get predated on, and it would be really ugly. Nature is super unforgiving. So these are not animals that could be released. So for them, it's either remain here, and we take as good of care of them as possible and give them the best enclosure that we can, or uh, they are euthanized, despite being healthy individuals. So that's why they're in captivity. Um, and they're also here to teach people about foxes in the pet trade uh, and foxes in the fur trade um, and how to respect wildlife. So I think that that's important. There are some, don't get me wrong, there are some animals that are very unhappy in captivity that, that don't do well. And I don't mean species, I mean some individuals that just don't do well in captivity. Um, and then euthanasia is the most humane option for them. Because these animals were raised with people, they're really comfortable with people and they like being around people. Um, these foxes really like our zookeepers here. Um, and they just spend the day, you know, hanging out and they get fed like a really good diet. And, and I think they're pretty happy. I think it would be a shame for them to be euthanized. Um, I, I, I'm really proud of their quality of life. People talk wow. Otis a float sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. People talk wow. Jenna 18226 sub for the first time. Also, um, for transparency's sake, if you're worried about uh, how happy they are in, in their enclosures, we do have live cams on all of these enclosures um, for transparency and so that we can keep a good eye on them at all times. So if you want to watch them during the day and see what they do, uh, you can go follow Alvea Sanctuary on Twitch and watch them on their live cams. They mostly just nap. <laughs> they like sleeping throughout the day. Finn will bury stuff. Um, they eat, they drink, they have their training session, hang out with each other, you know. And they have a den camera, that's right. Um, the fence goes over a foot down, or is buried over a foot down. 
Yeah, I know. I know Urban Rescue Ridge. Teepopog, wow! Teekal underscore 093 subbed for the first time. So they have zero privacy. <laughs> um, they don't know what a camera is. <laughs> So they don't know that there are thousands of people watching them while they're sleeping. I don't think that they mind. Does the Texas climate limit the kind of animals you have on site? Okay, good question. Um, some of our animals don't do well um, in the Texas climate, of course, right? So um, we have these foxes both have a room that has AC, so they can choose to go inside if they want to get out of the heat. They do really well in the cold, though, uh, like very well. The, these, the foxes are probably the best adapted animal that we have out here for the cold weather. Um, and then another animal, like we have the parrots, right, that are from what, Central America, um, South America, and they have AC and heating um, so that they can choose to go inside to, to be in a more comfortable temperature. Same thing with the marmosets, they'll have AC and heating. Any species you wouldn't take in? Yeah, totally. Um, so we wouldn't take in... Uh, big cats, uh, both because of the amount of space that you need for it to be humane and um, because of the liability of, of having big cats here. Same thing with like, mm, like large hoof stock, like elephants or giraffes. We, we just do not have the space. We have 15 acres here. Um, so stuff like that. How do you decide how big the enclosure is? So uh, there are regulations from both USDA and Texas Parks and Wildlife as to what size enclosure should be for species. Um, and we obviously have the minimum uh, enclosure size and we try to go pretty much as big as we can. So this enclosure is 40 feet by 26 feet, not including their um, climate controlled room. And uh, it costs about almost $50,000 to build for them, um, thanks to Cutie Cinderella and her community. Did you build this whole place yourself? Uh, I mean, no, not with my hands. <laughs> I did found it though. But we have contractors that do the actual building. <laughs> How did you raise enough money to afford Alveus? So, um, I did a capital campaign fundraiser on Twitch back in 2021, where we raised over $500,000. Um, and I shaved my head as part of that fundraiser. So that was like our capital, like where we started. And, and all of that money went into starting to build the infrastructure uh, that, that we had here. So we had 4,000 linear feet of fencing put in this property was not fenced. Uh, that was $72,000. Then we had the parrot aviary built. That was $20,000. Um, the training center is $135,000. They're, they're all steel um, and they're all custom enclosures and so they're very expensive to build. So a lot of that capital went into the startup of everything. The property itself um, I bought with all of the money that I had made in streaming from 2019 to 2021. Um, so all that I had made had kind of gone into the down payment of this property and so I own this property. So a little bit of both. Hi. Hi. You guys want your enrichment? You guys want to give crows some enrichment? Oh shit. Shoot. It's one. Oh, sorry. We raided in it too. <laughs> I was like Okay. Into the crows. I was like, that went by so fast. What the heck?
So, don't mind the noise here. Okay. Hi, bud. Ah. Hi. So, we have two crows in here. Uh, this is Abbott. Um, you can hear? Abbott was born in the wild in Texas. He was raised by people um, and imprinted on people, um, which means that he identifies with humans as a species as opposed to crows. It's a physical change that happens in their brain when they're babies. Um, and they tried to release him. They tried to release him as a baby, and uh, they found him at a park a couple miles away landing on people for food. Um, and so he was incapable of taking care of himself, and they had to bring him back into captivity. And so that's why Abbott's in captivity. Abbott, A B O A A B B O T T. There's nothing in that straw. I'm not sure why he's so interested in it. Come here, Abbott. Abbott, come here. Someone asked what's in these earlier. So these are just washed out jars that have um, have cat kibble and dried mealworms and some wood blocks and paper and I think that's it inside. Um, toys and food, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a little suspicious. <laughs> He's looking. <laughs> I bit him. you an avian specialist at first um so i uh, got my falconry license in 2019 or 2018 um so I've, I've done some work with birds of prey uh i did an internship at a parrot sanctuary so i've definitely done more birds than anything else um but i definitely wouldn't call myself a specialist Yep, birds. Are crows evil for fun? I saw a crow murder a baby bird the other day. Didn't even eat it, just murdered and dipped. What's up with that? Um, I wouldn't say that they're evil for fun. Um, they can be very territorial, so that may have been an issue. I'm surprised they didn't eat it, because they definitely would. Um, I'm not really sure what that's about. He's trying to flip it over. <laughs> Do you have issues with wildlife trying to get into the enclosures? Um, we have had some snakes, or we've had a snake get into this enclosure, but it was too small um, to, to do anything um, to these crows. Um, thank you for the four months. Oh, wow. I don't know how you got that out. Um, other than snakes, no. We haven't had issues with mammals or anything like that. Mice, sure. Lizards, Abbott killed a lizard yesterday. Yeah, we have raccoons around. 
but they shouldn't be able to get into this enclosure. Did he eat it? Ella took it. <laughs> wow, good job, bud. Coconut is hiding, kind of. Did you ever get injured by an animal? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, I've been bit by lots of things. Scratched by lots of things. You should do a stop intro video so we get to know them. That exists! Um, if you want to go check the uh, Alvea Sanctuary channel, there's a, a Meet the Team video on there. If you want to see more about them. How common are rattlesnakes? We definitely have rattlesnakes. I've only seen one on this property, though. Um, so they're either not that common or really good at hiding. It's probably the latter. Do all the employees work during the day or are there night shifters? They work during the day. Um, I live here though and Ella lives here. So if anything happens at night, there's always someone on the property. What's his name? His name's Abbott. I think I have been to the Houston Zoo. I've been to the San Antonio Zoo twice. Or three times. I think twice. Not Houston. I should go to Houston. Abbott. A-B-B-O-T-T. -T. <laughs> How many crows does Abbott? We have two. Coconut is uh, in the other room right now hiding because he's kind of scared of people. A lot of people have asked about like where to start for this kind of thing and someone asked if you need a degree to work at a zoo stuff. Um, so degrees, of course, like, like any job always help. Uh, a biology degree helps, a zoology degree helps, um, wildlife biology, you know, that kind of stuff is great. Um, experience is also huge, just volunteering places, getting internships at places. Uh, that's how I started, I mean, I grew up on a farm. I have a degree in agriculture, but I started working at zoos in college and, and that's how I got into it. What's Coconut's story? Um, Coconut was also blown out of a nest when he was a baby, and he has, um, he had a leg injury when he was little, so his leg is still a little wonky. Oh, wow. um, thank you for the Matt sub. Underscore from underscore the underscore north sub for the first Matt from time. the north, thank you. Um, so he's not releasable because he's imprinted and because he has, or he had that leg injury. All right, Abbott. Apparently that's all we need to do to keep Abbott from screaming. It's the quietest it's ever been in this enclosure. Could you ever see Alvaez getting aquatic animals? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> how we would manage that or how we'd get the money to, to build facilities for that. Uh oh. All right, we should get out of here so he doesn't, so Coconut can play with that one. I give Coconut a chance to come down because Abbott just found coconuts in Richmond. All right. It would be cool, it would be cool. We've talked about a coral tank. Let me put this on. So we do that. We got Georgie. <laughs> that do it for you? All right. George. Stompy swim. Stompy did have a nice, a good swim today. Oh, swimming today would be so nice. 
damn it. What's next, Marmosets? Yes, sir. That's where we're headed. What about apes at all this? Orangutans, chimps. Um, so the only primates that we'll ever have besides potentially lemurs someday is probably just the marmosets. Uh, that is mostly because of liability. Um, we can't afford to have a large ape here um, for liability's sake. It's just too dangerous. And they need a ton of space, and they need a lot of vertical space, so it'd be really expensive to have one. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Hello, Connor. How's it going? The rest of the stuff, stuff. Ah, rest of the Mormoset stuff will be here Thursday. Wicked! Okay. Are there any horses? I have one horse, but he's not technically part of the program. He just lives here. A lizard! Texas spotted lizard. He's fast. Really? I lost my Oh. They didn't see me either. Oh. Sorry. Hello. Hello. You ready for monkeys? No bagels for monkeys. <laughs> this is that's their enrichment, those two. Alright, guys. Let's see the marmosets. Knife. <laughs> that's okay. Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Release the beast. <laughs> That just goes in there so the monkeys can't get it. <laughs> That's all. How long until the scorpions molt again? Uh, I don't remember when their first molt was. I think it's once a year for four years. I'm not sure. About once a year, right? I don't know. I don't know. What happened to the guy? Everyone's so concerned. You got Squeaks is coming. At 4 p.m. Do I, does that need to be my title? How big are they now? The monkeys? They're the same size. They're full grown. Thanks, Mick. Um, we, the design of the monkey enclosure, when are they moving outside? We are working on it. We're working on it this Saturday on the Alvaez channel. If you want to watch Volunteer Day. Ooh, new scale. Fun. All right. Momo actually was better with it last time than Apple was, but it took Momo, obviously, a couple laps and Apple took so long. Okay, so we have two monkeys. They're marmosets. We have a common marmoset and a black tufted marmoset. Um, and Kayla's gonna show you how they get weighed, how they work on crate training. This is Appa, that's a common marmoset. Come on. And that's Momo. Scale? Wow. 345, good job. 345 grams. That was too many pieces. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was too many pieces. <laughs> good job, Appa. Amazing target. Amazing.
Oh, God. I know the number is. I know. No. Someone asked if that was their original names. Um, Momo's name was his name. Uh, Appa had a different name, but we renamed him that so that they match. Wow. The difference between them um, is Momo is a black tufted marmoset because he has black ear tufts like that, and then uh, Appa has white ear tufts because he's a common marmoset. Appa? Yeah, Appa's name was Kevin. That's why people are saying that. Wow. What's the matter with something for six months? Six months. I'm only here for the animals. Thank you for the six months. Is one male and one female? They're both male. Sorry, I was sorry. I love their fingies. Yay. Do they recognize their names? I think they do. I don't think it's necessarily, I think you and I had this discussion the other day where it's like, I don't think they necessarily know that they're names. I think they just associate those words with, with like, like attention. paying attention yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's so cute. Is he eaten? So Momo, the one you're looking at right now, he, um, just got 15 teeth removed in addition to several teeth removed the last time he had to go to the vet. Thank you. Um, so he's missing more than half his teeth. Yeah, it's really sad. He only has a few left. Someone said, do they make good pets? Are they legal to have as pets? Uh, no and no. So um, they, they do not make good pets. Um, no monkeys make good pets. They're seed dispersers. Um, they run around the forest and poop out fruit seeds to help with forest regrowth, so they'll poop all over your house. Uh, they're really difficult to understand behaviorally, um, and a lot of monkeys will bite. Um, and then, most importantly, perhaps, uh, they just don't do well. Um, they, they deserve to have outside spaces and a lot of space, and, and they're, not, they're not meant to be pets. Um, it's, it's not good for their welfare, so, no. As for the legal question, it differs state to state, unfortunately. <laughs> Yummy. Their enclosure is going good. It's going good. Do these have an outside space? Yeah, so uh, we have an enclosure outside that they're going to move into shortly. We are finishing it. Now. Are you enjoying your dog diet, Alpha? How long do they live? Didn't we just talk? Wasn't it like 20 or so? I did not I, I did a very quick Google search. 20 is the number that for some reason is in my head, but I cannot say that that is correct. I know they have shorter lifespans than other products. Can you share thoughts about raccoon or possum pets? Also things that shouldn't be pets. That's wildlife. Um, cats and dogs are pets. Those are domesticated animals you can have as pets. Um, but you shouldn't have raccoons or opossums as pets. We are very excited to move them outside. What are they eating? I think banana. Uh, yeah, they're getting reinforced with banana from me. Uh, they get a gel diet every day. Uh, that they both really enjoy. I try to give um, them each a small amount of gel diet while they're out here so that I can ensure that both of them are getting some. Uh, the rest they get in their enclosure. Sorry, you guys. I just dropped that. Do they like candy? I'm sure they would like it, don't get any but they don't get candy. <laughs> don't get any candy. 
Um, how do you find animals in need of rescue? They're all different. These two in particular came from a neglect case in Austin. Um, they were seen by our exotic vet and she recommended um, us as a, as a home for them, as a place for them to go. They're so itty bitty. What are you doing up there? I put that up there so you guys could reach it. Could you have? Could they have dried fruits as a snack or no? Because they're getting teeth removed so they don't bite the staff and yourself. Oh no no no! They're not getting their teeth removed so they don't bite. Um, Momo is getting his teeth removed because he had uh, some dental disease uh, because of improper diet, and so his teeth were rotting out of his mouth. That's why his teeth are removed. Papa still has all his teeth. Are they from Madagascar? They are from Brazil. Do you get tired of answering the same questions? No. Ask away. How big do they get at adult age? This is it, guys. This is as big as they get. They come from a neglect situation. Yes. So um, someone bought them as pets and didn't properly take care of them. So both in terms of, of diet and space, um, they just weren't taken care of. So they both, what does he have? Oh, you can show that if you want. He oh. caught a spider. Oh. Is it a harvestman? It looks like it. No. It's sad. He's ripping it. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, dear. Wow. Uh, natural behaviors, guys. Yeah, enrichment. Um, this is another reason for not having pets. <laughs> How soft are they? I think they're actually really soft, but they don't like being pet. So we don't really touch them. Not something we have explored with monkeys. Sorry, yeah, so these two were in a neglect case. Um, the person uh, bought them as pets, didn't take care of them properly, so they both had a list of medical problems, metabolic bone disease, dental disease, malnutrition, um, we're just not healthy. Uh, and so we got them and have been doing a bit of a rehabilitation process for a while, and now they're doing much, much better. But a lot of people buy animals like this as pets, exotic animals, thinking it would be cool to have a monkey, and then just don't know how to take care of them, and then the animal suffers, which is really unfortunate. Aren't monkeys herbivores? Uh, these are omnivorous. They like eating bugs. We give them mealworms sometimes. Clearly, he is interested in eating this spider. So, arachnid. Is he showing you closer? Okay, it's nice. Did you eat it? Yay. Kylie, thank you for the sub. Will they end up being released eventually or do they stay at the facility? All the animals that we have at Alveus are non-releasable. Um, these ones because, one, they're Brazilian and so we obviously couldn't release them here, but mostly because they were born and raised in captivity um, and don't know how to take care of themselves in the wild. Are hamsters or hedgehogs good pets? This is a, a opinion, a personal opinion. I don't think either are good pets. Um, hamsters are nocturnal. They're kind of hard to handle. They don't love being handled for the most part unless you spend a ton of time with them. So I think they're really tough. Um, and they're rodents that are pretty prone to biting. So I think it's hard to have hamsters as pets. And then hedgehogs, same thing, nocturnal. Don't love handling um, spiky. <laughs> like, I, I don't really get it, but. Also, hedgehogs anoint, so they just um, rub really gross smells all over themselves, and then they're stinky. What about domesticated rats? I think rats make great pets. Domesticated rats make great pets. Um, they're very smart, can be very social, can really enjoy handling.
Do they use their tail to hang on trees? These monkeys don't have um, prehensile tails, uh, so they can't grab on anything with them, but they help them with balance. Just tuning in, what kind of critters are these? That's a common marmoset, and this one is a black tufted marmoset. Up here. Marmosets, they're marmosets, they're monkeys, they're primates. Be nice. Is their ear color different by gender? No, they're different species. They don't have anything is there a reason they turn their heads so quickly? Uh, they're, they, they're just busy boys. <laughs> You okay? What's wrong with you? Hi. I have nothing. Sorry. He's getting a lot more confident. Yeah. I have nothing. What is their heart rate? I don't know. They're Good question. I've not been asked that one before. I don't even know if we could Google and successfully find that answer. Yeah, I don't know if that exists. We could ask our vet. Maybe she could count them. I don't know. Fast. Hmm. Back to back. Weird. It all related with my previous job, too. Glass space. Yeah. Is that really necessary? How much can they bench? Like nothing. <laughs> they're just little guys. I would imagine though, like proportionally speaking, they're probably really strong. Yeah. Like in terms of like yeah. being able to hang and support their own body weights. That's not easy for humans to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do they fling poop at people? We have not had that problem. No. The biggest um, challenge we've had is that Appa, when he's frustrated, will bite. Nip. Yeah. Appa nips when he's frustrated. And that is something that we are learning his behavior so that we can prevent in the future. But he lets us know. So we're trying to pick up on those more subtle cues that he frustrated. Uh oh. Momo found chat. Wow, Momo. Exciting. Flip. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, he's by you. He's doing Yay. a lot better. I try to keep my hand like somewhat tight when I hold him so that this you know there's not as much that he can grab. He can read every single message. Uh, Look. There's chat. Papa, look. Oh, I turned. Wait, I <laughs> closed it. Hello. There they are. He likes the camera. They well. <laughs> I'm glad that they are, oh, they seem unfazed by the camera though. Yeah. There's not a lot of like. Are those little squeaks the monkeys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to do very much to get them comfortable with it. Momo, do you want to see them? Look, here they are. 
chat. Ooh. Oh, he hates you. Chat. Don't a wall. Improvement, not immediately being on screen or chewing on it. That's Oppa. <laughs> Where is he? Is he behind you? Oh. <laughs> he likes the window. There will be cams in their enclosure once it's finished. Yes, yes, yes. We squeaks in 20. No, we don't, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. Why are their head movements so choppy? Um, they're just busy. They move quick. They got a lot to look at. They got a lot to think about. How long have you had these two? Since December. Late December of last year. Can you put little hats on them? I don't think they would like that. Can they catch a fly in the air? I have not seen them do it, but maybe. I'm not sure if you brought in some crickets. Yeah, they could catch crickets. We can watch them crickets. They seem to be very comfortable with humans now, especially with Kayla. How did their how much did their behavior change? Kayla question. They can hear you from there. Flip. Flip. You don't know up there. While she's trying to get him. 
their temporary enclosure is in here now. Um, we haven't shown them very much since we got them because uh, them being inside in a cage while they're being rehabilitated and, and regaining strength and stuff uh, makes them look kind of pet-like and makes them look manageable, like they, they can live inside or they should live inside. Um, and so we haven't shown it for that reason, just in case somebody gets that impression that, you know, that they're pets or that they live inside. Thank you for the four months. What type of monkey is that? You're looking at a common marmoset up there, and then there's a black tufted marmoset over here. Is this their first reveal? No, um, not quite, but they haven't been. <laughs> Who wants the bagels? Thank you for the 10. Do they chew on cables? Uh, I don't know. We haven't had that problem yet. The chinchillas chew on cables. Crab music, thank you. The rats chew on bags of food. We are working on the outdoor enclosure. Um, we're going to be working on it all day Saturday if you want to see it on the LVS channel. The enclosure itself is built. It just needs to be furnished, essentially. Are they social with other animal species? Um, they're definitely social with each other. Um, they don't really have access to other animal species here. Um, they see the chinchillas and rats like through the wire. Um, and, yeah, they're not super stoked about them. Um, but it is fine. Silver foxes are an arctic species. I hope you said they can both go into a cooled and AC enclosure at will. Um, so Finn is a European red fox, um, so not an arctic fox, but they do have AC, so they can go inside. Yes. Finn is just that color because um, he was bred for the pet trade. So they breed for color in the pet trade. All right, guys. So cute. Chat, any of you interested in a water slash snack break by chance? Because I am. What about you, Appa? It was nice to see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice monkeys, very cute monkeys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! That's a collaboration caddy. Okay. Oh, uh, Papa, do you want an ice cube? He's ever seen an ice cube. It's cold. Oh. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. I would just like lean down next to the table and see if he'll get out. He's on his shoulder. <laughs> Go up uh, up here. Good job. <laughs> nice monkey. It's too cold, he hated it. like ice cube in a chat no only <laughs> the camera
give them an iPad. They do have a, a tablet. He peed on the ice cube. That's so nice. <laughs> well, what a guy. Coco Melon. Yeah. Much less chaotic out here than they used to be. Yeah. Which is nice. Although I'm sure when we put them outside in their enclosure, the chaos will return. He loves being on camera. <laughs> I have to start, like, Hi, bud. figuring out when they do that short clipped vocalization that he did when mm -hmm. he was looking in the camera. Seems yeah. Seems like something, like, abrupt and potentially something where he's, like, yeah. agitated. Maybe it's just seeing a monkey and he's not sure who it is. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like when... Yeah. Uh, Hand-raised birds see their reflections and they get mad. <laughs> Rats. All right, guys, we'll go take a snack water break. We're on the home stretch here. Peach, Ice Cube, and Peach. Thank you. Lovely. All right. Could be worse. Could be worse. They could be bigger monkeys. Say goodbye. Oh God. Say goodbye to the monkeys, chat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, Kayla. No monkey escape. Ow, dude. Pain. Also, my shoulders hurt today. Am I getting jacked? Is that why? Cool. All right, it's about damn time. Need water? Flip. Do I have something for you? He's stuck. A box water. Chat, you want to see what Connor got me for my birthday? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty sick, honestly. I'm excited. Worst candy ever. Hater. I hear a hater. <sighs> okay, all right, all right, guys. Connor is meant to go live in 10 minutes. But the Alveus channel is already live. Mm -hmm. Are you able to only rescue specific animals? Are you accepting all of them? We are only able to rescue specific animals. Uh, specific individuals, specific species. It depends on the resources that we have. Can we build them an enclosure that's big enough? Do we have the staff that has the experience for them? Gaber, dude, he's back. Yes. Oh, thank you for the 50. That is why I'm hurting you. Thank you for the four months. So, Connor's streaming today. Connor's uh, building some sort of automatic feeder for the pasture that Chat can control, I guess. After he's doing on his stream today. And then um, and then at 4 p.m., Squeaks is coming here. Um, do you need your chair? At 4 p.m., Squeaks is coming here for a collab. Someone asked what the collab's gonna be now that Nerve Center's over. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. We pretty much the same thing. We'll start in the studio, we'll switch to the backpack, we'll go outside. How's it? Same thing, minus the bananas. 
And mine is Garbizard. Where are animals? We were just outside with them all day. And Squeaks will also be eating a mousticle. Yum. He's gonna scare the animals. Maybe. Maybe. Um, is it stupid to switch over? Is my slot, oh, my slot's over, huh? Slot's over. Yeah, we'll switch over. All right, we are going to switch um, into, or we're gonna raid into Alveas, and then Connor's gonna be live in a bit um, to do his, what is it? Automatic feeder, uh, for chat, automatic feeder. Automatic feeder that chat can control for the pasture, okay. is the plan. So, we're raiding Alveus. Alveus is, Alveus has his own channel, if you didn't know that. Make sure to follow Alveus. Any last words? Any last Twitch Primes? Have a great day, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you on the Alveus stream, probably. And then I'll see you in like literally a couple hours for this week's collab. It's a long day today, guys. Will the alerts be able to go out? Huh? Probably won't have alerts. Oh, it's on his channel. Never mind. People talk wow. A Twitch Prime. Jive and see some for the first Thank you. Time. Damn, you stream a lot. Thank you, chatter. <laughs> God. You hear that, guys? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I do. You can start the raid. Unless it's already started. It's, it's going. It's going. All right, folks. See you on the other stream. See you in a couple hours on Squeaks' stream for the collab. Big time, yeehaw. Um, I gotta pee. Bye. People talk loud. It's fine, they didn't hear that last part. They didn't need to.